Oh, hey, folks, welcome back to Day Z. This is episode two. Sorry about the gap with the Christmas event, and this is Christmas week. I haven't had a ton of time um, to actually sit down and record, obviously, with the holidays and such. But we are definitely recording now, and hopefully, outside of the, you know, maybe Christmas break, we, oh wow, are you kidding me? I mean, that's a pretty useless, I mean, we might take it. Does it have ammo? It doesn't. Hmm. We'll, we'll take it for right now. Alright, let's uh, get my splitting axe out. Alright, but besides Christmas, we should be back in the flow here very shortly. Um, especially with a lot of our Let's Plays. <clears throat> and I really like to get more consistent. Now we do have an issue right now, folks. We are yellow in food and water. And I would prefer... To get that 22 rounds. What do we? Oh, I think I think I dropped the sporter in the last episode. Okay. To be honest, though, I don't think a, a sporter is gonna help us out a ton. Like if we get an actual gun battle, I think we're still gonna lose it because we were gonna lose it beforehand. Uh, I feel like the only way I'm going to win a gunfight is if I have a shotgun. Or, I mean, some of the good weapons, maybe, but I have to have an advantage in the weaponry over the other player. I think even me having a sporter and somebody else having an axe or a shovel, especially a shovel, because shovel PvP-wise is definitely uh, really effective. It's a, basically a one knockout hit, so... We just want to make sure we have weapons that are going to help us. And having two rifles or two firearms on our back is going to make us definitely more of a target. Um, and if you're wondering why I am going through these houses, it wouldn't be a terrible way to get some food right now. Um, let's see here. What, what do we got rolling? I thought I saw something back there. Uh, I think we need what would be really nice a can opener or a kniffy can opener a kniffy with food more 22 rounds the game is spiting me for dropping that little sporter because I'm pretty sure that sporter is a 22 I'm about 80% sure that that sporter is a is a 22 and the game is like yeah no uh Honestly, you you could have used that. <laughs> oh man! Yeah. And I like these houses for food and knives and can or all kniffies and uh, stuff like that. What is that? A mouth guard? A Colt 911. Let's pick that up. Let's see which one of these we're going to use. 38, and what is this one? It's a bigger caliber. Let's drop that one. What is this? Wait, is there something else? Oh, that mouth guard, okay. It looked like a holster to me at first. <laughs> um, let's go over. I don't want to go to them buildings. Them buildings don't have a lot. And we just need to be getting food. And actually, we should be checking the backyards. It might help us out quite a bit. All right, let's take a gander. There's not really going to be any food in any of these, I don't think, but... It's worth checking out. Some snazzy running shoes right there. Hmm. I think we're gonna take that. 
Uh, we also need a jacket and some other stuff. All right. Now, there might be, we're looking for interesting buildings. And after we get done with this roll, probably. That might end up being in the next episode, but we're going to start doing the looking for very interesting buildings like the um, the uh, or the fire department or the police department. I actually wouldn't mind fire gear. I know it's reflective and all that, but it does hold a lot. And that would be a big thing for me. I like being able to carry a lot. Uh, especially if it comes to food. I normally wouldn't um, be sticking around on the coast in this situation, but small gift box. Oh, do they have a Christmas event? Um, hold drop. What is this? Oh, the new signal pistol. Oh, that's right. I don't, I mean, I don't think we really gonna need that, but you never know, you never know. We might try it out just to see what it is and then drop it down. All right, so let's go check. Ugh, these are not the type of sheds and things I wanna see, because I normally like them, but they're not the ones that can have food. We need the greenhouse things. They normally can have food. Oh, and I don't want to be running. I'm low on water and food. If I need to, I can drink. I believe I have a... Yeah, I do have a water. I don't really want to do that because I get sick a lot of times when I do that. But I, I think I'm in Berezino, but I don't know that I am for sure which means I could be not know where the water well is because I don't even know if I know where the bot with the water well is in Berezino to be honest with you let's look here and man there's not many people on the server but that's why I'm kind of sticking here is there's probably actually stuff for me all right, maybe we'll get some from the zombies here. When in doubt, attack zombies. Ooh, a frying pan. That's actually good. Oh, she might have a better backpack than me. Um. All right, let's drop this pack pack to have to end the episode. And I take this one. I think this one is a much better one, right? This is probably pristine. Yeah, it's probably pristine. Alright, and then there was a frying pan. Alright, and that will actually help us out. Okay, right, guys, we'll see you in the next episode. We're right on food. We got to get food. So that's our next step. We'll see you next time, folks.